why is it that I can buy and I can sell all kinds of brands and all kinds of bags, but these Dooney satchels, I cannot let go. They're like timeless beauties. So stay tuned for my thoughts. Hello, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Andrea and welcome to the Babe Cave today. Bag of the day is none other than the Navy Florentine Baguette. And those who voted mostly, and almost all of them picked the cherries and you're right, it looks fabulous on this little baguette. So if you missed my video on my first paycheck of YouTube, it went to this bag right here, the baguette in navy, and it has not disappointed at all. And I have it paired with what you chose, which was the cherries. And uh, today is a collaboration with three other beautiful friends of mine on YouTube, so you have to go to their channel after you watch mine, of course. <laughs> the collab today is with no other than says what and happiness sparkles and my pursuit of happiness i came up with the original idea with says spitballing to her and then it became a collab with the other two as well and we're talking about these classic satchels that dooney has had around for a long time why or why not or what's our reason for keeping these satchels for using them or not using them you know all the things about this satchel because these are to me classic timeless beauties i mean i i think that's the reason why i just can't get rid of them i mean they have gone up in price you know they're different sizes we're gonna go over all that in a minute they uh, are just really pretty and versatile you can do top handle you can do shoulder you can do crossbody they're a little bulky crossbody um, but you know the trends seem to be according to Cassie Thorpe <laughs> that I think big bags will make a comeback and you know the formerly known uh, as the small satchel this is small but now it's called the satchel i think these will have a comeback just like other trends come and go throughout the 70s the 80s the 90s so i just want to talk about each of my satchels that i own i started buying my first one i want to say was in 2019 and my first one was the pale blue and again, they used to call it the small satchel. I use the heck out of this beautiful satchel. And uh, long story short, I ordered it. My daughter got sick. I wanted to cancel it. She got better, obviously. Um, but it is, I'm so glad I didn't cancel it. <laughs> uh, the, like I said, the prices of these have gone up since 2019 you know these were the rage back in you know 1920 i feel like everyone was getting these satchels this is the color accru and the red tassel right here means it's made in america because typically they're green under here so i am sad about my accru because i kind of messed it up a little bit <laughs> when i did go to a job i had a pin and right here you could see i tried to clean it off with alcohol don't do that don't do that <laughs> so this is what happened when we tried to clean it so this will forever be mine i mean it's you can't see it like everything else about this accrue bag is beautiful pristine but yeah ink spot <laughs> then i uh got this right here this is my black again i got the made in the usa with the red it, this black one oh, 
it almost takes your breath away. You know, same feet. You know, I got I got all of mine for under two hundred dollars, and I'll get to the pricing of the ones today, <laughs> even with Black Friday sales. And then I'm gonna include this one. I found this medium crossbody, which is similar in shape kind of but doesn't it's not a satchel but it's still you know a bigger bag florentine and this is in the color bone and this is what i was talking about the green under there doesn't means i guess that it's not made in the usa <laughs> and uh so i'm including this one as well and i got a super deal on this one and it is smooth smooth leather <laughs> This medium crossbody that I'm throwing in the category because of the similarities, yet different, um, of the satchels is because, I mean, it's so buttery. <laughs> and another light color, again, I don't buy light colors, but I did get color transfer on this and was able to clean it off. But the good part about this medium crossbody here the straps detached to make it a shoulder bag so i wore it crossbody once and i got jeans transfer on the back of it so now i just wear this bag as the shoulder bag and it has the same you know brush colored hardware it's beautiful beautiful smooth leather you know i uh just had my daughter's birthday party and some of her friends wanted to see where I film and uh, one of them came in here and was like I have never seen this many purses in my life <laughs> and like I said I thrift I sell or I buy I mean purses are been in my blood I've I've really loved them for 20 plus years I don't even know <laughs> Maybe longer. <laughs> but So I'm going to talk about some of their new styles that they have come out with. Because they haven't gotten rid of these satchels. Because they are classic. And I'll be popping up pictures um, next to me here so you can have some eye candy. But they came out with the All Weather Leather 3.0 satchel. Which is gorgeous. And I'll pop a picture up. <laughs> and basically, so these are 13 across um, so that's how the length of these small formerly small satchel was and the the all weather are 11 across and they are beautiful <laughs> I didn't check the price of those but even with 30% off they're they're not cheap <laughs> at all and then they came up with the mini satchel and that one is 11.75 lengthwise. Then they came up with the micro satchel, which is 10 across. And then now they have a nano, which is 8.5. And they all have the top handles. They all have, you know, this design, uh, just different sizes with the tassels and everything. And I believe even the feet on the bottom. So the, the satchel isn't going anywhere. You know, I, I looked on I Love Dooney. I looked up the Pebble Grain satchel, the same as same size as this. And their Black Friday sale currently on I Love Dooney for this same bag is $179 for the pebbled leather version. And the only Florentine satchel that I found was a brown tomorrow color and even with the black friday code their price is 396 dollars <laughs> and i believe i spent under 200 or around 200 to 150 on all of mine that i currently have <laughs> so they have increased the florentine leather because it's phenomenal <laughs> then i went over to the dooney and burke website and I looked up the pebbled satchel first. And with the code, it is 
$261 for pebbled leather on the Black Friday deal. <laughs> And again, I think I paid on that pale blue one $150, $60, and that, but that was 2019. So they have increased in price for sure. <laughs> then I looked up <clears throat> on the Dooney and Burke website the black Florentine satchel this same size. And with the code, $369. <laughs> I mean, do you see why, like, it's really hard to get rid of these satchels? I mean, one, they're gorgeous and timeless, but they are heavy. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you can't wear them. I've decided that I'm going to carry them, <laughs> but I also don't want to sell them either. So I'm going to carry them probably over the shoulder, and I like that you can top handle them. Another great detail is the whip stitching on the handles. I mean, everything about this bag says quality, quality, and more quality. You just, and this still smells like Florentine leather if you've ever smelt it. Still has a smell to it. And this is my newest one. The pebble leather, I don't. It doesn't have a smell, but this is my oldest one, um, and everyone everyone went crazy for this pale blue color, um, and it's it's fantastic. <laughs> and then here is my accru again. Really, you just you just can't you can't beat the quality. You can't beat the gold with the. I don't buy light colored bags, so I bought this one, and I. <laughs> I, I still love it. It's like a grayish neutral, light, light grayish neutral color. And it's fabulous. I am going to make myself carry these <laughs> and switch out. I don't know when, but I'm going to do it because they are fantastic and they deserve more than just being on my shelf. <laughs> You know, says what I started watching her before I even did YouTube, and I watched uh, Ivana from per My Pursuit of Happiness before I started YouTube. They influenced me to buy these great satchels. So I, I was definitely influenced, and I'm really happy that I was because the quality is beautiful. They're timeless classics. And uh, if I had known Frances from Happiness Sparkles, I'm sure she would have influenced me at the time too. But she's a new friend of mine. So why don't you go over to their channels, like, comment, subscribe to all of us. Because they all have knowledge on these Dooney and Burks and other brands as well. <laughs> that I don't have. So um, I, this was a fun collaboration. I wanted to throw it out there and they all were for it and I appreciate all of them for doing this collab with me. And uh, do you own the satchel still? Have you sold it? Did you get the other sizes? You know, really, if I were to get another one right now, I think I would get the all weather leather one <laughs> because that is going to last decades because my vintage ones are from the 90s, 80s, 2000s, and they are still going strong. So if I were to consider a new satchel, I think I would go with the all-weather leather. But anyway, thank you again for watching. Go over and check all of their videos out. I'll have them linked down below. And I appreciate you all for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.